Do you want to know how much I get paid as a small YouTube channel? Do you really want to know? Well, if you do, I'm going to tell you right now. So the ways I'm going to break it down is in the four parts in this video. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the actual YouTube partnership program, the ways to make money on YouTube, my actual setup and what y'all been waiting on, how much I actually got paid when I first got monetized. Y'all ready? All right. So let's get right into it. So what is the YouTube partnership program? Well, it's simply a partnership between you and YouTube and by making videos or making content, you can receive a payment from the ads that are on your videos. Okay. So then when you become a partner, you get to determine how many ads you want to have on your videos. And if you want the, the ads to be played in the beginning, in the middle, in the end, right. And you get a portion of the advertising costs that those companies pay YouTube right? And that's how you're going to get these checks. Okay. So first of all, how do you even get signed up and get the big saying, Oh, I've been monetized. All right. This is the three main criteria to become a YouTube partner. First of all, you need to have a minimum of a thousand subscribers, right? That's the number one. And I think that's the easiest one in my opinion to get if you are making videos that people want to see and nine times out of 10, you will be okay. So a thousand subscribers. The second thing is you need to have four, thousand hours of watch time. Okay. 4,000 hours of watch time within one calendar year. This one seemed a bit challenging. I'm not going to lie in the very beginning for myself because it, it depends on how long a person is actually watching your video. Okay. So you have to be aware of your analytics and seeing what, you know, what people are liking to see so you can make more content like that. So don't be dismayed in the beginning guys. If you get those thousand subscribers and the watch time doesn't get to the 4,000, it will get there. Just keep doing what you're doing and don't give up. Okay. That's the one thing. And last but not least to become a partner with YouTube, you need to adhere to their guidelines, right? You can't be making any slanderish videos or anything bad things basically, right? You just have to be, you know, mindful of the type of content that you're putting out for their viewers. Okay. So that's how you become a partner. All right, y'all, this is fun. This is the ways to make money as a YouTube partner. Okay. So obviously the first one that I spoke about is the AdSense ads that are being played on your videos, right? Those companies pay YouTube for the viewers to see them. So they're paying a price and you're getting a portion of that paid directly to you. Okay. So ads are definitely a major part of how you get paid on YouTube. Secondly, you can get paid through merchandise. I don't know if you've seen it. Some YouTubers have their specific merchandise that you could purchase and you can get paid through that. They started these new things called super stickers, right? Where your viewers can go ahead and, you know, buy a sticker and they can give it to you. It's kind of like on TikTok where they have, you know, the hearts and the badges or whatever like that. YouTube has their own. And there's also on YouTube, the final way you can get paid is called a super thanks where like if you have a live or something like that, your subscribers can, you know, send you a, a super thanks and that's money. Last but not least, you have premium subscribers that can subscribe to private part of channels of your video where they get exclusive content. They get to see your videos first and things like that. So there's a multitude of ways that you can make money on YouTube and it's literally the possibilities are endless. All right, let's go on to the next thing. All right, y'all. So another way that you can make money on YouTube is to actually start your business and monetize your audience, right? Because at the end of the day, it's a platform, right? It's a platform and you can use your platform to direct your clientele or your viewers to wherever you would like. So if you have an educational program or you have a group outside of YouTube or you have a service that you provide, right? A consulting service, an educational service, a counseling service, right? Whatever the case is, you can direct them outside of YouTube to actually pay you directly for your services. All right, now let's go to my actual setup. So I want to bring you back to circa 2021. 2020 to 2021, right? Where I first started out making videos and I didn't know what I was doing. Okay guys. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know the setup. <laughs> the setup was legit crazy of what I was doing to create content. But guess what? I knew I wanted to create a YouTube channel for women like myself, women like myself who are, are young and 
our mothers and wives and want more out of life and just want to make sure that their children have the best future possible. So that is why I started my channel. My channel is directed at women who want more and want to see their family succeed and are just looking for that information or they're looking for that little out or they're looking for that little direction, right? So that is what my channel is centered around. So my biggest thing y'all is that you need to know why you're doing this and who you're speaking to. That's my biggest thing. Know your audience and know why you're doing this and you'll be perfectly fine, right? If you're starting a YouTube channel just to make a check, it's gonna take a while, right? Because I'm telling you, you have to have a higher calling of why you're doing this, okay? So just getting into my setup. In the very beginning to this very day, I've been using iPhone, shout out to you iPhone. The, the thing I have to point out is that in order to get high quality video, you have to spend money on the higher quality phone or you have to get the higher quality phone. So once there's a new update on the camera, I need to get that phone. Am I saying that your phone right now is obsolete? Absolutely not. Whatever you have right now is your equipment. So if you have a Galaxy, whatever, iPhone, the Android phone, whatever phone you have, set that bad boy up on a tripod and get going. Okay, so I have an iPhone and then I had a ring light. That's all, iPhone, ring light, and a window. That was my setup in the very beginning. And if you go back all the way down to my channels from the very beginning, you will see the lighting is crazy, the camera is whatever, and I'm just here, I'm getting to the I'm getting to the information, right? I'm getting down because at the end of the day, like I said, my why was so big and my desire was so big, I had to get it done. Side note, y'all, when I was doing my research starting out, you know, getting my YouTube started, I was, you know, researching YouTubers and found, oh, I gotta get this camera, I gotta get that camera. Y'all, I purchased the camera and I returned that bad boy because I didn't know how to use it. And I'm no lie. Because it just, it just got frustrating. And I want to point out, did I stop? No, I just found what worked for me and I kept going, okay? So please take note of that, y'all. If something isn't working, make it work for you, right? Let it fit you. Don't just say, oh, it is not gonna work for me. Absolutely not. So right now I have a few more lights. I have the upgraded iPhone and I have a brand new mic system that I'm so excited about and so proud of. This is how many years later, like three years later that I upgraded and actually purchased a mic using my YouTube money to invest back into the business. So I just want y'all to know is that the technology that you have at your fingertips is top tier and you need to use it and monetize it and make it work for you because it's right here at your fingertips, okay? Let's go on to what y'all been waiting for. How much did my my small YouTube channel, how, did, how much money did I actually get paid from YouTube? All right, y'all ready? Okay, let's break down the numbers really quickly. So my very first check after being monetized and after meeting all the requirements that I told you in the beginning, my first check from YouTube was $1,265.43 and that was in July of 2020. 23 okay so that was very surprising right literally surprising to be honest and to this day I'm like really I'm like literally had a check from YouTube um let's go on to the second check okay the second check that we received was in December of 2023 and that check was totaling $1,169.54 okay so that being said y'all I, I don't know if y'all you, you can go back and look at my videos and see I am not hitting million views yet right? I am not there yet, but I just want y'all to know the, the, the consistency is extremely important, extremely important. And the YouTube honors your consistency and your dedication to the work that you're doing. Okay. So I'll give you an idea of the frequency of videos that I put out so that you can gauge what you're looking for and how you're planning to, you know, run your channel. So for me to get to that monetization and to that number, I was putting out one video per week. Okay. One video per week. I did not go live any time in 2023 at all. No lives at all. And the shorts were maybe two to three. I would say about three. Three was my total for 2023, which was sad, right? So sad. So going forward, 
as an entrepreneur, as a person that is, you know, doing better, I'm making goals for myself. I'm going to continue with my one video per week. I am going to up my lives. I'm going to up my lives and I'm going to up, up my short content because at the end of the day, it will help build my entire channel as a whole. So that being said, you don't need a lot, right? You don't need a lot. I hope you can see going back to my old videos. You do not need a lot. The most important thing you need to do y'all and this is what's going to change your life and change the game for you is just set up that camera and start talking, right? Set up that camera and start talking and press submit, put it out there. And, and, and then you'll see, I have to get, bring it back to my first video and I might interject a, a picture of the video here of my very first video, um, that actually went crazy and it's still going crazy to this day. And it's my eight steps of how to open your own event space, right? Because I'm an event space coach also. Right. But I have to tell you when I made that video, I was very scared very, very scared and very nervous. But guess what I did? I said, my husband, shout out to my husband, Mike, set up the camera, Mike, set up the camera and we doing this, right? We boom, knocked it out and set that video online for three months. It didn't do anything for three months. It didn't do a thing, right? Just let it sit there. And I didn't watch it. Just let it sit there. And then all of a sudden that bad boy just went off, went off, just did its thing. So I just want y'all to know that it is so possible. YouTube is going to be here for, for as long as I think the world is going to be around and it's continuing to grow and you need to tap into it because it's a great resource to help other individuals that might need your information. They may need your content. They may need your voice. If you have a story, if you've overcome something, if you know how to get out of something, if you know how to do something, if you have done something that can help others, you have a, a voice, you have a channel, you have information. All of us have information. We just need to get out of our way and know that if we're helping one, that's all that matters. If we're helping one, that's all that matters. And I hope you take that away from this video. I hope you learned something new. If you want to know more information about YouTube content creation, what I'm doing, comment down below what you want to know more about in regards to anything that I'm doing with YouTube. And I'll be glad to make another video. Okay guys. So I hope this was helpful and thank you so much for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.